Kyle Bragg, I'm Vice President and Director of the Residential Division for SCIU Local 32 BJ. We're out here in the Rockaways at 8600 uh, Shorefront Parkway today in support of the Dayton Beach workers who have been out on strike since July 7th of this year. Uh, we've been negotiating with the uh, co-op board's representative uh, for some time trying to come to uh, an agreement on a new contract for these workers. Uh, it started with uh, the board uh, insisting that they be given a contract which would be cost neutral, a contract that would not uh, cost them any more, any more dollars than currently costing them uh, in, in the labor uh, as of today. Um, but when we figured out how to make that happen and uh, made sacrifices to uh, reduce the workforce, uh, to pay for the cost of the contract, that wasn't enough. Uh, then the uh, dialogue changed from it being a issue of finances and protecting the, the cooperatives against the possibility of, of, uh, of maintenance increases, which has not actually been substantiated, that our contract would, would result in that. But uh, we understood that these are working families and we want to help protect them against that. Uh, she changed the dialogue to now uh, they just are paid enough and they don't deserve wage increases. It's a, a familiar theme that we're hearing across the country about what workers have and what workers should, shouldn't have. And uh, it doesn't hold a place here uh, in this community of working families, a community of union members, a community that understands the value of hard work and, and that understands the value that these workers have provided over many years, uh, giving uh, a quality of life to these tenants that they deserve and that they're proud to, uh, uh, to, to give. Um, so we're here together, not just union workers, not just union members, but the cooperatives themselves. They turned out in droves in support of these workers. They've been supporting them every day uh, since they've been on a strike, feeding them, giving them uh, 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 um, drink, water, uh, all types of supplies to sustain them and keep their hope and their morale up during this uh, crucial fight. Uh, we don't know why uh, this has become such a personal battle. We don't know why we're embroiled in this dispute when there's a simple resolution. When this started, it was about saving money. And since uh, the, the, the fight has gone on between uh, all the other costs that she had to uh, spend to, to maintain the property and legal fees, she's well in excess of the money that would have cost to provide a new contract for these workers. So it's not about money. It's about principle, uh, and it's, it's shameful because it's a woman who is a president of a, of a cooperative, uh, an owner of, 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 of a unit, and she's only there because of the benefit of being a daughter of a TWU worker. She was raised in a union household. Anything she has is because of the benefit of, of, of being raised in a union household. She's forgotten where she's come from, and she's forgotten about the value of workers and the value of work. And we're here to remind her. And what will be the solution you guys are asking for to this problem? The solution now is a very simple one. is to come back to the table, negotiate in good faith, and sign a contract that allows these workers to go back and, and provide the type of services that these tenants have been accustomed to and the quality of life that they've been accustomed to. Um, I don't know what hole she's dug for these cooperatives now because of all the money that she spent uh, uh, fighting other workers needlessly. Um, so that has to have a factor here, but the point is, she spent tremendous amounts of money fighting him when we could have uh, resolved this a long time ago and kept the quality of life here high in a community uh, that represents New York. This is a melting pot. It's all races, creed, colors, backgrounds, religions, uh, and faiths. Uh, it's, it's a community that really truly represents New York, and she uh, has tried to uh, engage in a uh, very mean-spirited and angry uh, debate uh, about uh, what this fight's about. And it's only about worker justice, period. Thank you, sir. Thank you.